our values, buying into our values, creating a culture, having responsibility and taking responsibility for that culture. I think people need to, in our, what, what I try and get our people in our team to understand is that culture is not just the responsibility of the management, it's the responsibility of every individual. And that's not just about their input into it, but it's yeah. about them calling out or saying, hey, that's, you know, that, that's not how we, how we tick here. As far as bringing a, um, a bunch of te- a, a team together, I think people always sort of say, oh, you need to bring like-minded individuals together. I don't know whether I agree with that. I, yeah. think, I think you need a bit of diverse thinking. People who think different ways, I think the idea is that you get people the right value set. I mean, it sounds a little bit sort of, you know, what your mum would say, but it's, you know, people have been brought up well and, and got an ethic, can understand how what they say or what they do affects others. A bit of emotional intelligence. So that's what we, we, we recruit for. And then, and then I guess you've got to trust, you know, the chemistry that happens when these people come together. There's moments where, in, you know, early in my manage, because I'm a hardwired recruiter, mate, I'm, I'm <laughs> managing has, has come when we've run our own business. I've, I tended to be a little bit more like a dad and I'd fix everything and, yeah. and I'd, you know, come to me, I'll sort it out for you. I've learned that, you know, it's the old, the old phrase, and that you can give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. Teach him to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. We really try to empower and encourage sorting your own stuff out by, you know, connecting. So work, work it that yeah. way and empower them and give them some tools and advice to sort of... Yeah. I get laughed at here because I say, you just massage it, massage it along a little bit. <laughs> you know, you just sort of, you know, you're not sort of going and manipulating it. You're yeah, going, yeah, yeah. you know, you, yeah. you, you, I just massage it along and give them a few tools and a few ideas. We try and get people together um, uh, weekly for, we've just done it now actually, a caffeinated catch up, which is just us not talking about anything else, or anything work releases. Getting together as people. We do it once a month as well. We go out for lunch. We do quite a bit of social stuff. So we've yeah. got like tonight we're going bowling. You know we have drinks nights out. But I think yeah. this one is it is is you know you're not getting pissed. Yeah. It's hugely important to recognise that we're humans, not just colleagues. And I, mm-hmm. I think there is a line. You know I think there's yeah. some people they do separate their work life. And I mean I, I'm I'm similar to I'm I'm like that in a way. Yeah. Um, you know I'm, I'm not averse to popping out the weekend with with the guys if there's something going on. And you know, yeah. I'll, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But um, I think people do like to have that separation. But I think what we what what is important is that you have some time where you can spend the team can spend together yeah. when you're not on it and talking about work. You know, you, you've got to you've got to connect in other ways. But what we did is we built in um, some core delivery values. So there's well, our team are very aware of what needs to be done straight away yeah. and what a priority yeah. is. Yeah, um, and they. Um, so they, they might be having a, a right or laugh um, doing the quiz or something. But if a job comes in, a contract yeah. job, um, it's kind of like you know, you know the when the firemen get the bell on the yeah, drop, the pole drop and it, yeah. they're off. Drop you know, it's kind of that. Yeah. Um, 